The Ranger football arrived when Rusty Chambers did. In his freshman season, the Wolves played eight-man football. Two seasons later, as a junior, Chambers played in the Class 2A final against Haynesville. But as celebrated as Rusty was in LaRanger, college recruiters didn't beat down his door. Southeastern actually said he was uh, too small to play. And LSU wouldn't even look at him. And uh, he wound up at Tulane and, you know, the facts were there when he played there. Ronnie Chambers said Rusty was recruited to Tulane by longtime assistant Tony Masita. Chambers was a standout on a Tulane defense that registered the biggest win in the history of the program, a 14-0 win over LSU in 1973. Rusty Chambers played 16 games with the Saints over two seasons, was cut, and then signed with Miami in 1976. On the night of July 1st, 1981, Chambers was a passenger in a car that ran off a rainy road in Hammond and hit a culvert. Rusty Chambers was dead at the age of 27. His mother was at the time visiting a sister in Memphis. The cop came and tapped on the door and said, I had a message for Joyce Chambers. And it wasn't he. He'd been killed. Joyce Chambers had lost her youngest of four children. But 34 years later, she is still a fixture at LaRanger football games. She is as LaRanger as it comes. And so, she says, was Rusty, who was never caught up in fame. I don't think I ever went to his head. Rusty Chambers, one of the greatest athletes in the history of Tangipahoe Parish. Years later, his name still synonymous with excellence. And a beloved uh, member and a beloved family of that community. That sure was, and I tell you what, that was a tremendous Tulane football team. And they uh, in 1973, uh, yeah, yeah. weren't they good? Yes, they were excellent. They go to Baton Rouge and win that ball game. And one at Tulane yeah, Stadium, yeah, yeah. eighty-six thousand. Right. No, that's right. It wasn't eighty-six thousand exactly. Tulane right. Stadium. It was a he was a fine football player, and that tells you about recruiting. You, you can't measure heart. You can't measure uh, the intangibles, and he brought that to the field. Well, you know, sometimes I think recruiting is an inexact science. There's no but doubt. sometimes I got to be honest with you. I go to these games and I wonder what these college coaches are looking at. I'm not commenting. Okay. So I know you can't comment, but I can, and that's all. As, as Forrest Gump would say, that's all I have to say about that.